we got a, a little bit something different here in the final cut for you today. It's an, an it's a short film, a proof of concept film. And now, if you're not familiar with proof of concept films, uh, they're basically little short films made to show what a feature film would uh, entail and the way the film would look if they did a feature length version of that short film. And that's what kind of a proof of concept film. And that's what we're reviewing today with Amityville, the people of New York versus Ronald J. DeFeo Jr. Yes, that's right. Another Amityville story. Uh, Tis the season. Only this one is told as more of a crime procedural, which I thought was an interesting approach to this. We're having the story told to us from uh, the uh, angle of the law enforcement, the lawyers involved, and those characters, those individuals, and, of course, uh, Ronald J. DeFeo Jr., um, who was at the center of the case and the instances, incidences. So I thought it was a really interesting approach to uh, Amityville, which is pretty much getting slapped on everything here. But this does actually pertain and deal with the Amityville case. Uh, now, everybody involved in here, I think, does well. This was written and directed by Rob Levinson, and he really gives us this grounded period piece. And I love period pieces, and in indie film, it's hard to pull off, but they pull it off here. I think the costuming and the set design and the production design really makes it feel like this is mid-70s. This is 40, uh, I'm not going to say too long ago because it's around the time I was born. So let's just say a long time ago, uh, but it feels like that period. I, I thought they really captured uh, that era well, at least in the short film uh, in the scenes that we got. Now, uh, as far as the trial goes, they keep things interesting with the questions and especially the witnesses, especially when Ronald J. DeFeo Jr. gets up on uh, the witness stand. And yeah, there's a lot of interesting aspects that you would not expect with uh, the that dealt with Amityville, because usually they, they really take on the supernatural horror side when we see it. Now, that's not to say there aren't hints of some more horror and weird things going on, just glimpses. But for the most part, this really plays out more like, uh, you know, a, 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 um, a law and order type episode and, and done really well. Again, very compelling. I found all the characters interesting. The performances by all involved were solid. They had me uh, connect to these characters. I wanted to see more. It really got me hungry to see. I, I could see a feature length film of this. I do enjoy the crime procedurals and the fact that it's done in such a way on such a famous case that's been covered many times in many films in many ways. You just, when you think you, you've seen it all with the word Amityville in it, along comes a short film like this. So, yeah, I uh, keep an eye out. Hopefully it does get made into a feature because I know I'd watch it because it, it is a compelling story, especially when they get into organized crime and, and start mentioning mafia. And yeah, I, mean, I was like, yeah, I want to see more of this. So Amityville, the people of New York versus Ronald J. DeFeo Jr. It's a really long title, uh, but it is a really interesting story that I hope we get to see more of. So there you have it folks thank you so much for watching please check out our patreon if you haven't already like and subscribe bells and whistles and all that here i thank you for your support and remember till next time keep that ticket stub